Sam made drawings of rupees 10,000 from a firm which charges interest at the rate of 15% on drawings. What shall be the total amount of interest which should be charged in this case if Sam reduce such amount? If is missing out here, so you can just write it down. If Sam reduce such amount on the first day, last day, and the middle of every quarter. So basically, in this case, unlike the earlier case which we saw on interest on drawings, there is a partner who is withdrawing a fixed amount, okay? A fixed amount of 10,000 from the firm. The rate of interest is 15%. The time period is every quarter, which means that the time gap between two withdrawings is same, right? But in, there are three different cases, which is the drawings are made on the first day of every quarter, the drawings are made on the last day of every quarter, and the drawings are made on the middle of every quarter. Now broadly, again, as I told you, and I'll do it for the first day of every quarter, and then I'll use the formula to compute these other two, right? Let's say, for example, the first quarter basically is January to March. Second is April to June. Third is July to September. And fourth is October to December, right? The drawings are made on what? 1st January, 1st April, and 1st July, 1st October, right? Now we know in order to compute the interest on drawings, we obviously need to know the period for which the money is used. If you withdrew it on 1st January, assuming the year end on December 31, we use this for 12 months, which is 1st January to December 31st. Right? This one we use from 1st April to December 31st, which is 9 months. 1st July to December 31st will give you 6 months, and this will give you 3 months. The sum total of all this is how much? 9 plus 9, 18 plus 12, 30. And how many quarters are there? There are 4 quarters. Right? So, the period for which interest is to be charged on drawings can easily be calculated by instead of calculating it individually for each one of them separately, right? We just divide 30 by 4 to get 7 and a half, or in other words, 15 by 2 months. So we've just got the average period here. Again, the condition is that the time period between two drawings should be the same, right? And the amount should be constant, which is the case here. So interest, where the drawings are made on the first day of every quarter will be equal to total drawings into rate of interest into 15 by 2 into 12 months. Right, this 15 by 2 is nothing but 7 and a half divided by 12, so which I have written in this form. My total drawings are 1,20,000. My rate of interest is 15% into 15 divided by 2 into 12. Right? So 12 will knock off, let me use a different color here. 12 will knock off this to give you 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 will go into this 5,000 times. Okay, I just forgot to 100 here, right? 1, 2, 1, 2. Or in other words, 50 into, 15 times 15 is 225. Right, 5 times 5, 25. 11,250 right now similarly we can also calculate if the drawings were made on the last day interest if the drawings were made on the last day this is again equal to total drawings into rate of interest the period in this case instead of being seven and a half months is four and a half months four and a half or 9 by 2 months into 12 right again let's use a different color maybe 1 2 1 2 right 12 knocks off this to give you 100 2 will knock this off to give you 50 so you get 50 into 15 into 9 right 15 times 50 will give you 750 into 9 
6750 right now when the drawings are made at the middle of the year again if you do the same exercise the average means that you will get is going to come to 6 so interest when the drawings are done in the middle is going to be equal to 120000 into 15 by 100 into 6 by 12 so this will give you 2 1 2 600 15 into 600 will give you 9000 right so that's basically how you calculate interest on drawings where they are done in the middle starting or end of every quarter I hope you would have liked this video if not please hit the dislike button if yes you can hit the like button as well because your dislikes are going to help us to improve these videos further right thank you very much